pee. <laughs> you know me. I gotta go pee pee. You gotta go pee pee. <laughs> you know me. Sure, well, we are singing again. Uh, do I sing again? We're singing again. We're singing again. So we sing. What is up, everybody? It's Hump Day Wednesday chit chat. Yes, middle of the week. And National Puppy Day. No, Dog Day. No, it's Puppy Day. Puppy Day is a different day. No, no, no. It's my. It's our Puppy Days. It's, it's our Puppy Days. It's National Dog Day. It's National Dog Days. I love our dogs. They're little shits. They're so shits. Though. Last night they were. Oh, shits they're last at, they've night. added. They're, last night. They're pain in the. Last night they're really bad. So. They're so needy, both of them. Yes, but they're needy in a different way. They're both. Oh. <laughs> they wear me out. They literally wear me out. But if you have a dog, show me your dogs. My Facebook feed is awesome today because all I see is dogs. On your, on your, okay. Because I think you posted a couple too, didn't you? I put one on my, uh, my stories. Because all my friends have dogs. I yeah. make sure that all my friends have dogs. Okay. So you have a very limited friend circle, or what? No, no. Everyone loves dogs. Everyone loves dogs. Yeah. I have a few that just have cats, but. Yeah, I like cats. So. <laughs> Wednesday, hump day, uh, again, hopefully everything's going well. If you guys out there today, I know school's in session, so hopefully you're getting through that with the, with your little ones and things are going good, but... Um, Haley we, starts today. Oh, did you know that? Our daughter what, starts what did today. She, did, did she have like a orientation thing this morning or no, something? No, a like lecture. That? Lecture, she lecture. lecture. So. But she's in college. Well, so. I'm glad she's doing that stuff. We don't, keep, <clears throat> we don't keep track of that anymore. Not at all. Let's get into today, guys. Uh, Let's talk about what's the number one thing. Number one, you should evaluate if you have a plateau. A, pl ooh, a plateau. Yeah. If you're stuck, if you're just trying to lose weight and you're just stuck, you're not seeing the results. Maybe a plateau. That's a whole other topic. Mm -hmm. But we're going to talk about just one thing to reevaluate, and this goes back to. The weight loss, weight gain, mm -hmm. golden rule of. Go ahead and say it. Go ahead and say it. I'm waiting for you to say it. <laughs> oh, okay. Calories in and calories, calories out. Calories out. Yes, absolutely. So we want to talk about evaluating with honesty your calories in. And I'm going to give you an example that happened to me pretty recently. Yeah. Um, that made me think of this. So. I think just from an honest perspective, when most people say, oh, I'm just, I'm stuck, I'm not losing weight, I eat healthy and I exercise, but it's just not coming off. Most Usually, of the time. <laughs> it's related to the portion size that they're eating is part of it. Now, also, I think the other part to talk about too is that the sources of food is extremely important. See, what they think is healthy in some cases, it is not healthy too, as well. Now, so, you're, now you're getting, you're, but let's just talk calories. I know, I know, I know. I'm okay. just, I'm just, I'm just tied to calories, I, though, so. Yeah, but a cal calorie is a calorie. You're right. They, they treat your that. body different. I get that. Okay, I'm just, I'm just dumbing it down. Okay. Dumbing it down. All right, you go, you run it for them. Calories in, calories out. So, yes, maybe you're eating too big of portions, but your mind is thinking this is normal or this is a healthy portion, right? Whoops. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> okay. Maybe you don't realize you're sneaking little treats that you have at your desk or your worker colleagues have, like some M&Ms or caramels or chocolate squares, things like that. A lot of times you literally can eat those and not even realize it. Or you have one that leads to four and your mind still thinks you only had one. And so like add up quickly. Yes. Very quickly. Yes. Um, so it's just, I mean, it, you have to step back and you have to be, take an honest look at what you're actually putting in your body, right? I mean, I think that also ties back to taking the responsibility well, right. by being honest with yourself. If you're truly being, if you're truly taking responsibility for your actions and who you, where you are in your life, you've got to be honest about it. Yeah. Like to your, t honest and accountable. accountable. And that's hard yes. to do just to yourself because yes. it's so easy for us to be... It's, it's okay. Just, it's it's just okay. One. It's just, just one. one. It's just two. It's just one Not day. A deal. Not it's a just deal. one day. And then next thing you know, you do that three days out of the week, and then you're pissed because you're not getting results. Mm -hmm. And then here's another thing. Maybe you're not measuring your food. You know, maybe you have to take a step back, back and actually measure and portion out the foods you're eating. 
for example, I had a client, he's been in the program for four weeks, and this was last week, he sent me this message, because right before we checked in, we were, when we checked in last week, we were talking about weighing your food, and my question was, are you actually weighing your food? Because the weight wasn't coming off. Oh yeah, I'm weighing my food, I'm weighing my food, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I get a text the next day, um, I need to start weighing my food. <laughs> And it says what he was, what he thinks or what he thought was the right portion size was not the right portion size. And you know what? That actually kind of is like putting your pride aside, yeah, right? God, of course. Because, of course. Absolutely. It's, yes. well, it's, you're holding yourself accountable. I mean, that's what it boils but down it, to. Yeah. It's also like, oh, I'm doing it right. I'm, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is right. This is right. And then you actually really look at things, really pay attention, maybe even journal things and your eyes And that's what we're doing now. We're actually, eyes. He's actually journaling, he started journaling last week now yeah. too, so. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so what you think is the right portion size, for the most part, is not the right portion yeah. size. So, so here, here's the example that happened to me. And this is all with um, following nutrition labels and also being careful mm -hmm. that the measurement you're taking is a true and accurate measurement compared to the nutrition label. Sure. So for example, I have a granola I love to eat with my yogurt every morning. It's a very healthy granola, pumpkin seeds, stuff like that. Yeah, right. Um, but anyway, on the nutrition label, there's a couple measurements for like <clears throat> a half cup and a three quarter cup. But also if you notice on nutrition labels, next to like half cup in parentheses, it'll tell you how many grams, right? Mm -hmm. You should always go by the grams. It's the most accurate way to measure your food. Yes, so. <laughs> and not go by the half a cup and here's why. So out of curiosity, I filled a half a cup nice and level. I went, it wasn't stacked full, just nice and level. And I weighed it and it was like 50% more in weight in grams than the serving size on the label. So I actually was intaking probably 130, 150 extra calories than what I thought and how long was that going on for? Oh, months. Months. So months. Going on for months, months and months and months. months. Because I was just half cup, half cup, half cup. It's easy. I have a half cup. It's how could it be wrong? But it weighed so much more, probably because the granola is now crumbled up mm -hmm. and more of it is fitting in my half a cup versus the big chunks that, you know, maybe it's manufactured as and on the nutrition label. So yeah. that's just like one example, guys, where, and that's just one thing. If I took another bite of something or a couple bites or a chocolate well, that just, day, we'll just now think, I'm over yeah. 200 calories. We'll just think that's <laughs> happening for the next meal and the next meal. That for you, you for could, months. For months. <laughs> then you wonder why you're Damn not it. seeing the success or something that's holding you back from seeing the success, you know, and why it's so important to make sure you're watching this on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, so before you get super upset or before you actually think you're you, in a plateau. Before you give up. Yeah, and give up. Just take a step back and really reflect, be honest with yourself, and really start tracking your behaviors, tracking what you're putting in your mouth. And then you can take it a step further and do the weighing and looking at the nutrition label and really tracking how many calories are going in. Calories in. Calories in, calories in. Calories in, that's so, all we're talking about today. So, calories in. <laughs> well. Make, oh, what is that? What was that? You are such a knucklehead. So anyways, guys, so uh, that, that is a trick. one that thing that you can trick. do to ensure mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, to, to really reevaluate where you're at to get you either back on track um, or to make sure that you are on track. So uh, don't mm -hmm. make it more difficult than it needs to be. Simplify. And again, I, you know, I've been doing this for a very you know, over 20 years. I still measure he my still food, food and weigh my food every single day. Um, I do every day. It's a habit. It happens all the time. Now, obviously, I don't weigh my food. I don't bring my scale when I travel and stuff like that. But at home, absolutely, uh, I'm weighing my food, which is crazy. Yes. But especially your protein, you're always yeah got to get protein, enough protein. Yeah, so now Jody down here says she's never done that. Normally, just a half cup. So next, Jody, next time we have something that. The nutrition label has like a cup serving whatever it is zero the scale out with the cup on it fill it up and then weigh it again yeah. and see how many grams and see how it compares yeah so the most accurate way to measure your food is using grams so um, and that's how we put in our plans we put ounces tablespoons teaspoons and grams is how we weigh our stuff out for our clients so anyways guys I uh, hope this resonates with you uh, please uh, share this with others if it does let us know how we can serve you guys 
If you're watching this in the replay, please hashtag replay. Have a good one, guys. 10 minutes. We're out. All right. See you guys. Have a good one. See ya.